For many investors, the last six months have been the scariest months of investing that we've seen since the financial crash of 2008. Uh, the Canadian stock market dove down all the way to negative 32% in the first few months of the year. And uh, that's largely because of COVID-19 sweeping across the globe, causing unemployment rates to hit extremely high levels. Now, a lot of that has been recovered in the last few months. Um, and that's largely because businesses are open back up. We have more um, faith in the economy. And it's mostly because of technology. The technology sector has perform been performing so, so strongly. Um, but still today, unemployment levels are very high. The second wave of closures are sweeping across the U.S. And uh, COVID-19 numbers are reaching new highs every single day. So for a lot of us, we're still left in uncharted territories. Um, lucky for our portfolios, we've experienced less than one third of the decline that we've seen in the public stock market this year. Um, so the volatility has been very, very low. And that's largely in part um, because of the private investments that we have in your portfolios. Um, our equity investments are performing quite similarly to the public stock market down 9% in the first half of the year. And the private investments have managed to stay slightly positive. Uh, we just want to give you three updates from our private investments. The first is that uh, we have replaced one private investment earlier in the year, May 1st. It was EHP with Algonquin Debt Strategies. And in the last two months, Algonquin Debt Strategies is up 6.4%. Second thing we want to let you know is HGC. Another private investment is performing extremely well. It's up 9% in June alone, leaving it up 12.5% for the year. Uh, one investment that hadn't, hasn't done very well this year is called Lawrence Park. It actually dropped as much as the public stock market did earlier in the year. And we've been speaking with analysts about that to figure out what we should do with it. And we've agreed that we're going to let it go. So we're going to exit that position at the end of this month. And it's likely going to be replaced with another investment called LSQ. Um, LSQ has had a phenomenal year. They're up 14% in June, and I believe they're at 19% so far this year. Um, we're just speaking with the managers of that investment and doing a little bit more research to see if it's going to be a good fit um, to replace Lawrence Park. Um, other than that, all the private investments in your portfolio are performing positively. Um, we've been able to avoid a lot of volatil volatility so far this year. And we'll continue to let you know of any other strategies that we come across that can help keep your portfolios consistently performing positively. Um, as always, if you have any questions or if there's anything that you need, we're always here for you. Uh, we hope you and your family are continuing to stay uh, safe and healthy and you continue to do so for the rest of 2020. Take care.